All right. Our first task for today is we're going to teach you how to install Windows 2012 Server 802.1x authentication using a Cisco switch. So this is one of the laboratories on the CCNP exam. Also one of the hardest to do because you do not see documentations much out on the internet. So you'd have to do this on your own or watch the videos we're making. So our very first task is to make sure that you have a static IP address. You can use any IP, private IP. Could you optionally put a default gateway or should not? Doesn't matter as long as your DNS server must exactly match the server IP address. Click on OK. One more OK. And click on OK and OK. Next task is we, need, we would need to install an Active Directory. Now the Active Directory would serve as a domain controller as well as all the user accounts will be authenticated in the Active Directory. Okay, so our next task will be to add the feature of domain services. Go to next, I go to next, I go to next. So I would check Active Directory domain services, add the features, you go next, and you go next. You go next and click install. So I'll pause the video and continue after Active Directory has been installed. Okay. Okay, at the latter part of the installation, we are prompted to promote this server into a domain controller. So we would gladly follow the recommended set. So our domain, we would set the domain as rivenit.com. That would be our domain. So we would not be providing any credentials. This is a um, new domain, I'm sorry. Rivenit.com would be our new domain in a new forest since this is the first server we're going to install after which we would set this at 2012 server and give this a password for the active directory recovery and go next okay we just go next and wait for the NetBIOS compatibility name. Take note of this NetBIOS name because this is the same name that we would use to log into Cisco. Go next. Go next. Go next. Okay, now we are prompted for the installation page again another waiting game so I'll just pause the video again okay after the installation of the active directory you will be prompted to reboot so just click close and your server will automatically reboot Okay, now our server has, has successfully rebooted. It's time to go to the second phase of our installation. It's called installing the uh, Windows 2012 Certificate Authority Service. Okay. So this is done by going to Server Manager again, like we did before. But this time we would be adding just wait for this to finish. Yes, um, this time we would be adding the role of certificate authority. So make sure that this is now the main controller. 
we go to next and we add the active directory certificate service and you would notice that it would need to add additional features so just go ahead and add those go on next so this is what I call an all next exercise so we would select a certificate authority for now all right we go install now there would be additional steps to configure before we could actually proceed with our dot one x server this will take a few minutes so allow me to pause the video okay the next phase of our training would be installing um we would be configuring active directory certificate service on our server okay so the credentials would be the administrator we go next we'd select certificate authority we configure we go next we would select enterprise ca root ca create new private key now for ease of purpose we would need to select 256 as the algorithm and allow administrator to interact we'll leave those at default we go next five years is good we go next and we click configure okay this will take a few minutes so to save on a video time allow me to pause this video now you could see installation was successful you go close click close and now we have finished installing the certificate authority you can check on the button here to, to, to know that which features we have installed alright so our final step would be installing our network policy server go next next year next year so our next task would be to install network policy server it would need this additional feature so I just click add, add features I go next one more I go next so let's leave this at default for now go next I click install okay the final step of our installation you would see that the NPS had been successfully installed. I click close. So that's it. Um, this would be part one of our video. This would be installing all the services. We now go to the next video.